So this is another build day. Uh, I try to do a video every day, it's stupid as it is. It's very hard to upload. I gotta like sacrifice every ounce of sleep I have. I'm gonna get like three hours of sleep tonight. So I'm trying to have friends and it's very difficult because right now what that entails is that entails me having to go and basically uh, talk to people. I went to my friend's youth group. Uh, I'm not religious in any way. I mean, people are nice, they're very religious, so it's kind of hard, a little difficult and devout. But right now I'm driving all the way down to TJ Friday, so it's kind of crappy for me. I really, honestly, kind of depressed, hate life. It's very difficult. So I always have to put on an act when I'm out there with people. And it's literally an act. You know, like how you know when you go to work and you work at the parks and you're out there doing an act? Well, it's kind of the same thing, but life. And it's really frustrating because I want to have friends, but I, you know, I have to act like super nice. And you know, they always say, well, we're here for you and we're here for your problems, but they never are. Nobody ever is really. And that's really frustrating. And it, it just, you know, I'm driving alone. You can tell, you know? And I know my car's not really meant for driving, but you get my point is that everybody else is driving with somebody. They have somebody with them, whether it's friends or NSO or crap, maybe even like family, like a brother or sister, but I don't have any of them. And it's kind of frustrating, you know, it's not too big a deal. It's supposed to turn soon, I have no maybe a few miles in, there's a yellow light. My point is, is that I just really get frustrated because, you know, I have to work, I have to literally wake up at 5 a.m. It's currently about uh, just past 10, and they're wanting to go to TGI Fridays. But for some reason, they decide, hey, for everybody who wants to go to the TGI Fridays 12 miles south towards the middle of nowhere in a place called Hunter's Creek. But I don't know where they're from, but I can tell you, I live in Lake Mary. And I know Josh and Kim look at me and they go, well, is that okay with you? You know, you don't have to go. As sweet as they are, yes, I have to go. If I don't, that soils my ability to, like, make friends and have fun, you know. I don't have, I, I have to have that to survive. It's really difficult. That's why I like working at a theme park because you know I get to have like a half-assed version of friends and um, you know entertainment while working my butt off in college, and it's just tough. I really don't like it, and I don't want to sound like a whiner. I know I sound like one of those, you know, those crappy whiny millennials. You get my point, but <clears throat> I just want to like be with somebody, and it's very hard because anytime I even for the slightest bit think, oh, I like somebody, if I ask them out or if I just look or I can tell any bit, I can tell they're already with somebody, and that just destroys me because it's like. I don't even have the opportunity to ask. Everybody's taken. Everybody that's like worth taking. You know, you read those stories on Facebook about how like this pretty girl was getting bullied, and I'm not saying she's not. I'm just saying, where the hell are those? So I'm a pretty chill guy. I like talking to people. You know, like even today, I was talking to somebody who wasn't like the most outgoing and avid person. You can tell. You know, she was very nice, but she's not the most outgoing person. But you know, I just talked to her, chat her up. She's trying to make friends. I'm not trying to go out with anybody or anything. It's, you know, but just make friends. It's it's tough. But, you know, she was nice, and it was, it was kind of good, you know, made, like, kind of like a temporary close friend, if that makes sense, temp best friend. I don't know. <clears throat> but anyway, Josh and Kim are like, let's go, you know, you don't have to go out. I'm like, yes, I do, because it's either this, and go out and fun, make, try to make friends, and try to look like I'm a human being, and actually get to spend time with you for once in a while, or I just go back to sleep, Mary, go to sleep, ooh, I get an extra two hours of sleep, still wake up feeling like crap in the morning. So, I, I do my best, but let's just be honest. I, I don't have the opportunity. This is a long red light. Good God, just go green. Anyway, I seriously hate red. I hate traffic lights. They're the absolute worst. Anyway, <clears throat> so, yeah, it's the middle of the night. There's already like 10,000 cars. There's like literally zero on the road, like right now. So there's like almost nobody on the road. That's what it normally looks like. Right now, there's like 10,000 cars behind me because that light was so long. And it's just an arduous, you know, thing I have to go through. I'm really tired. I just want to go, I want to make friends. I literally have zero money. I have, not, I have no opportunity to buy anything. I'm going to have to buy water and hope to God I can tip the lady a dollar and buy a piece of crap. You only tip me a dollar for me buying for buying nothing, you know. I'm poor. Sorry. I just want to try to have friends. Everybody wants to go to these expensive ass places. Nobody wants to go to Taco Bell. You know, everybody wants to go and be nice. And I don't know if these kids have money, you know. I don't. I'm broke. I think Kim understands, but Kim might kind of be struggling through life. She'll never admit it. She's too humble, too modest. But I think she's struggling through her life financially. She doesn't have a car. She has to rely on people, friends, or, you know, Josh, any of them, to take her places. So I think she kind of understands what I'm going through. But she's still kind of morphed into the mindset where it's like, yeah, we can go and do this. And I'm just like, I'm not. And it's tough. I want to have friends, but I have none. None. I mean, like, you can say I have Josh and Cam, and I text them. But I don't know how close we really are. It's very difficult. Like, you, if you saw us, you'd think, oh, I guess they're the closest friends ever. But... I mean, I just love a friend. I ran it on Reddit today. A girl said she ran into an old friend of hers. This is on two. Uh, this is on two X chromosomes. <clears throat> which I, 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 you know, when they talk about actual like personal stories, I recommend they're fantastic. They're almost like wholesome memes up in there. 
but she's talking about how she's, you know, made a friend, you know, today. You know, she saw this girl that she'd see around campus. She's always a very nice girl. And then one day, you know, she drives to McDonald's, and she, you know, she sees her. You're like, wow, you're still working there. Mind you, this girl is very pretty, very nice. But works at McDonald's. She's kind of like, you know, she's kind of like him. You know, instead of, you know, instead of T1 flats, she works at McDonald's. So, she, you know, she asks, like, hey, I haven't seen you in a while. She takes off her headset. It's like, it's me. You know, I really want to see you again. Uh, you know, we never really hung out. I don't remember what we met. And everyone's like, yeah. So, I'll put another. They go, well, the girl in the, the McDonald's, like, want to hang out? And she's like, yeah. And, then, you know, the girl in the drive is like, yeah, I totally would. And I'm like, okay, let's exchange numbers. Or actually, they emailed each other. That's the funny part. But they did that. And it's, it's, it's super awesome. And it's just a great way to make friends. And people, I, I wish I met people that were more initiative. I just, I'm always the guy that has to initiate text. Nobody ever wants to talk on the phone. Nobody wants to do this. But... I have to, you know, they always want to text, they never want to talk on the phone. Every time I call Josh, no matter what time it is, he's always like, I'm busy, I'm doing this, like, literally in the middle of the phone. Like, it doesn't matter what day it is, no matter what time I call, he's always, like, in the middle of something, but, like, it seems like the most unimportant thing ever, and it's funny, and I'm like, dude, stop it. But, yeah, I'm doing my best. There's lightning over there. I'm really, really tired. This girl won't stop pulling forward. It makes me feel like she's watching me, but I don't know. I'm really tired. Anyway, that's the point. They're filming for about six and a half. And I don't like those green to the left only. Oh. So I'm doing my best. I really want to make friends. I'm really tired. I got everybody standing at me like I'm freaking on Cuckoo Puffs when I am. I'm really tired. I just want to vlog. I just want to go to bed. I just want to be tired. I'm trying to make this video so even though it's a rant, there's a lot of crappy parts to it. And my voice sounds like crap. I've been up forever. I've been drinking a lot of coffee and I got to wake up in seven hours. So I'm probably going to get like three and a half, four hours of sleep going up them. But, you know, when you want to make friends, you got to sacrifice. That's the key. You have to sacrifice. So just remember that. You're sacrificing every all your time, everything. So it is brutal. And I'm really tired, but hopefully tomorrow I can actually show you guys something cool. I'll try to go to like Universal or SeaWorld or something. I don't know, I'll figure it out depending on what's available and what seems like more fun. And I'll I'll take some video and I'll just show it around. But you know, this is the video tonight, it's not great, I'll probably have zero views forever. That's fine. I won't even watch it. I don't know, why why I watch it? I've been living it right now. But you know, if you listened and you were dumb enough to actually give a crap and comment or something, I appreciate it. It's, you know, life's tough. And if I, even if I succeed through life and I get everything going and I feel better and I have good friendship connections, this would be a good video to, like, fall back on and actually watch it how, at one point or another, it was tough for me, no matter what. And I want to make videos like this, even though they're stupid nobody cares. They're not meant for other people. They're meant for me. They're meant for me to go back one day and remind myself of how tough it was when I was growing up. If I ever become rich or ever become, you know, like, known for something or anything, I want to remember... It was tough for me at one point, super tough, and I had a hard time, so, anyway, if you did watch or comment, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. See you tomorrow, if I can upload the video tomorrow. <laughs>